So the first one was um, nice and minerally and homely. This is a real whispery, opulent, rich, powerful. Next we have a, a Petit Chateau Red Bordeaux, Cabernet Sauvignon Merlot blend, bottled at the Chateau from the House of Cordier. We then move up a step to an Eau Medoc, Cabernet Sauvignon Merlot, aged in French oak barriques, again distributed by the very famous House of Cordier, Chateau bottled. Why don't you try the Eau Medoc, okay. which is a classic Bordeaux blend. Single chateau, Chateau d'Avancin, bottled at the chateau, and it's a wine that's distributed by the famous brand name of Cordier, who of course used to own Chateau Talbo and Chateau Guerlain Rose. It's a very famous Bordeaux known, classic aged red Bordeaux. You'll see around the rim there's a little bit of it, just a little bit of brown aging that comes from um, bottle age, and it's drinking to perfection now. How are you? What's your bad? How are you? Good, thank you. I'm Nicholas from Villa Ventisquiro, Chile. This is this is Eru 2007. This is actually the first vintage we produce of so this wine. Um, it's a wine which I consider as a, as a hobby, uh, simply because we only produce 400 cases for the world, and we only get 60 cases in this country every year. So it's minute production, really small. Uh, the commitment to quality is huge because we actually imported equipment from Burgundy just to produce this wine. Um, it comes from a little block of vines, uh, which is just under one hectare of, uh, in terms of size, and um, it's 100 percent Pinot Noir in the Casablanca Valley, which is in the north west of Chile. This is the most unfashionable, unusual table. So they're getting someone from outside. I have nothing to do with the company, but I do like the wine. I do think they're, I do think these wines are worthwhile, and they're, we won't find them else anywhere else. There's something about this wine. Why? Luxembourg Champagne. Why? Because it comes from the same geological region and is made by a winemaker who came from the Champagne district in France. So, apart from the political boundary, this should be indistinguishable from real Champagne. So what's the great varieties in this? Great varieties are, this is a blend of Chardonnay, Pinot uh, Blanc, So if there's going to be a criticism of this one, it's going to be a bit widely spread. Right? It's going to be fruity and possibly for some people who like a tighter taste of their champagne, it's going to be um, it's going to be um, a bit too fruity because you'll, what you'll taste is the Pinot Blanc and Riesling coming through the other two. So can you tell me something about this wine? So that's uh, a Vinaire Blanc coming from the winery in Puchelic in the south of France. It's a blend of uh, different variety, uh, mainly uh, Syrah, Grenache and Carignan. Uh, it's a uh, vintage 2009. It was aged in barrels for more than a year for part of it, probably uh, something like 50% of the blend. Uh, yeah, more, a bit more than a year. So it's 
like the moment of sorrow. No, I guess it's too sweet, but it's like kind of unwanted. Yeah, it's kind of unwanted. Yeah, it's kind of unwanted. Yeah, it's still nice. But the closer you get to the ocean, and the more um, influence you get from the, the herbal current coming from the, uh, the Antarctic. So you really get, they get the opposite of what we get in Europe, which is the Gulf Stream, which is kind of warming us up. There, you've got okay, this current, really cold. I mean, if you go into it, it's called the Humboldt's Current. Right.